So I've had the Nieto Adventurer lying around for a while now. Thought I would take it to the woods and get a bit of use out of it. You'll notice the handle scales are missing. I actually took those off a few weeks ago. They were cracked and broke, so I just removed them altogether. But that's not the fail with this knife. Obviously, it's completely snapped. Now I know a few of you are going to be thinking, uh, you were batoning it, weren't you? No, I wasn't batoning the knife. I never baton any of my knives. I always carry an axe or a tomahawk with us in the woods. Batoning's not my thing. I've got nothing against people who baton the knives. I'm not one of these knife snobs who are full on anti-batoning. I just don't do it. It's not my thing. I always carry an axe or a uh, tomahawk when I go in the woods. So, wasn't batoning with it. It broke, striking the ferro rod. You can see the residue still there from the ferro rod. This is the old version. They do make a new version now. It's the uh, I forget what steel it's made out of, but it's the exact same knife. I think it's an ATS steel or something like that. But this one's the 440C version. I love the steel on this knife. I'm not knocking it. It's a great steel. I love the blade design. 440C is awesome. I really like the 440 blades. It's got a good thickness to it, nice spine. It is good for a ferro rod. The blade, not the handle. It does strike a rod very nicely. But uh Yeah, just struck a few times, thought oh I'll use a different part of the ferro rod so that I'm not using the same part and wearing it down, so a couple of strikes to remove the uh coating and then uh put a little bit of pressure on to actually strike the ferro rod itself. And I heard uh like a uh, that sort of thing. Very light sort of click. I felt it more than I heard it. And it had a little crack just developed here. So I bitch slapped a tree twice and the blade just went ping. Uh, yeah. So the handle itself I think I did a video on this a while ago, but uh, that's how the blades attach to the handle. It's a pin. And the handle itself, it's a uh, pot metal basically, nickel plated pot metal. It's got a, like a big air bubble here and one here and a big space here missing on this side. You can see the same thing. Yeah, air bubble here or something like that. It's basically pop metal. You can see the cast marks. I say pop metal, it's cast aluminium that's been nickel plated. You can see some of the nickel plating coming off there. I don't want to dull my sail needle with it, but you can see a bit flaking off there. It's cheaply made. I can't remember how much I paid for this one, but the newer one is 20... five or £29, something like that. Again, I'm not knocking 
when I'm rocking the knife. I love the blade steel. The blade steel's great. It's been easy to sharpen and it holds a good edge. So I'm not complaining about the actual blade steel. All I'm thinking is, why the fuck did they put did they mount it to this shite? Handcrafted in Spain. They've got to have some sort of pride in it. Can't see it now. Just isn't yet all handcrafted. Handcrafted Spain 440C stainless. Well, that's the fail. I did a video on this a couple of years ago. Somebody wanted to see it. See a review. It sucked. But uh, I showed it's got a crack there and a crack there. It's hard to see on this camera, I'm using the cheap one. There's a crack right there. And another crack. Going there. So I love the blade. I keep on saying that. The blade steel is awesome. I don't understand why they've... Just done this. Why not just make a fixed blade? A full tang, I mean. Or at very least a stick tang or a rat tail tang or something like that. Or somebody who takes pride in the knives. The way this is mounted, it's like a five pound Chinese survival knife sort of mounts. How they've attached the blade to the handle. One of those fake Rambo knives with the hollow handles that come with a little survival kit. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know why they've done that. It's held up, up until today, I've used it a few times and it's, like I say, I'm not going to keep on repeating myself, but, yeah, failed striking the ferro rod. So that's that, I'll put a link in the description to the newer version of this with a different steel, I personally wouldn't recommend buying it. Because from the pictures it looks the exact same as this, so I'm guessing the handle is the exact same. And how the blade's been onto the handle. But uh, if you want to have a look at the knife then uh, do so. Thanks for watching, goodbye, sayonara.